During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about the difference between mobile and immobile nutrients within a plant. When farmers look at the crops they're going to raise, one of the biggest considerations is how many nutrients the crop is going to need and when it's going to need those nutrients. Now, you may notice that farmers oftentimes will put fertilizer out ahead of a crop, but if you don't have the right nutrients in place during that season for a crop, you could have some trouble. And this is where the mobile versus immobile discussion comes into play. Well, quite frankly, I don't care when you put the fertilizer on. It's just the plant has to always have enough fertility every single day in its life. Otherwise, you're going to start to, if things get bad enough, see a visual issue with the plant. The plant may start to turn a different color. That's a real problem. With nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, they are what's called mobile within the plant. So when new growth comes, if the plant feels, hey, it, I'm short on nutrients, for nitrogen, phosphorus, or potassium, it will actually rob those nutrients from the lower part of the plant, which means the lower part of the plant will turn a different color. With nitrogen and potassium, that color would be yellow. With phosphorus, that color would be purple. Well, you definitely don't want to see your crop turning any colors, and with those mobile nutrients, they do move around in the plant. The immobile nutrients, though, you're going to see deficiency signs show up on the top portion or the newest growth on that plant. And with those nutrients, that's why I mentioned you may need to be doing some nutrient applications in season, depending on what kind of soils you have and if they can hold and keep available lots and lots of nutrients. If you can't, like say you're farming in real sandy soil that doesn't have a whole lot of nutrient holding capacity, you're gonna need to be applying these nutrients throughout the season and spoon feeding them, meaning putting small amounts of fertilizer out every couple of weeks maybe to keep feeding that plant throughout the season. Okay, so once again, I don't care if it's a mobile or immobile nutrient. Either way, the plant has to have enough of every single nutrient every single day. So like Darren was saying, with the immobile nutrients, basically all that happens is if the plant runs short, it can't rob it from anywhere else in the plant, and you're gonna see the upper leaves turn a different color. So for example, sulfur or zinc, and many of these micronutrients, upper leaves turning a different color means that you're short on one of those. The lower leaves turning a different color means that you're short on one of the mobile nutrients. So that's just the real simple difference. So when you're out scouting a field, scouting any crop, anything in your garden even, if you're seeing deficiencies on the lower leaves, you know it's a mobile nutrient. It's probably N, P, or K. If it's the upper leaves, it's most likely an immobile nutrient, sulfur, one of the micros. And my last comment, we don't want to mislead you thinking that every time you're short of any nutrient in any amount, you're going to see it show up visually on the plant. You might not see these deficiency symptoms until your plant is really short. So the way that you can tell whether it's a garden plant or a crop, you can take leaf analysis. So you can take a few leaves out of the field, send it into the lab, and they can determine what the nutrient content is and if that's up to snuff or if you're running short on some of those nutrients. It's tremendously important that you keep your plants well fed to get top yields and also to minimize the amount of weeds that end up out in the fields like our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop this tough weed later in the show. <music>